Good afternoon, everyone. This is an advice to the celebrities. Celebrities Dialogue. This is the title. Injecting illegal drugs in your vein is like dealing with the devil that you don't know. You're dealing with the unknown. This unknown factor can change everything. You can get anxious about your responsibility. But that doesn't mean you have to destroy yourself. If you become famous, it is not an accident. You work very hard for it. Your fame is the fruit of your hard work. Do not let it drive you not. You have to take it one day at a time. Overdosing yourself with drugs is not a solution. It is a problem. It's self-destruction. You are digging your own hole. Many of your colleagues destroy their life because of drug addiction. You went to several funerals of your colleagues who died from overdose of drugs. While your heart was broken for the death of your colleagues, but you are doing the same thing that put an end in the life of your friends. What prevents you to deter that you will have the same result? I understand that you have no control over your nucleus accumbens, but do not feed it with the drugs such as cocaine, heroin, nicotine, or alcohol that may increase your addiction to the drugs until you kill yourself. You contribute a lot in the world. You make the world a better place for us. No one wants you to die prematurely. Can you change your drug addict habit for the best of all of us? I'm not going to ask no one to convert because the word conversion, conversation, conversion does not sound too good for the people who have fame and money. There is nothing difficult in this world to decipher. It is not necessary for someone to know how to read and write to comprehend the meaning of the word to convert. I understand that many people, including celebrities, doctors, lawyers, politicians, just to name a few, when they heard the word confession, they think about evangelizing, which sounds very bad in the ears of the celebrities. To convert is to change the old way of living for a new one. What I am talking has nothing to see with religion. It concerns with moral responsibility. Although I am a Christian, I will avoid talking about the Bible or the religion in this dialogue because I do not want the celebrities to think I am trying to evangelize them. However, the truth is self-evident that the devil hijacked the celebrities' brain. And no one tried to help them. They are looking for the help the wrong way by asking the doctors to prescribe them the narcotic painkillers, illegal drugs. No one can ignore that the celebrities corrupted the doctors to fit the drug habits. As a result, a lot of them killed themselves by overdosing. As a matter of fact, nature has endowed every species of living creature with instinct of self-preservation, of avoiding what seems like to kill to real life. Various people, including the celebrities, break the rule of the stink of self-preservation. Taking an overdose of medication is not the self instinct of preservation. It seems fame and wealth overrule the instinct of self-preservation. Those who inflict on themselves a flagrant, gross violation of the instinct of self-preservation it is morally wrong to fall into that tragedy, to wander from the truth, to be ignorant, to be led astray. Someone will inject an overdose of heroin into his vein 
is not the inborn desire to stay alive. In another word, is not self-preservation. It's self-killing. The innate instinct of those celebrities who are destroying themselves is failing them. As Jose Mati said, an insatiable appetite for glory led to sacrifice and death. But in that stake led to self-preservation in life. If someone sacrifices self for glory, and when get it, one cannot enjoy it, therefore, there is no reason to make sacrifice to have it. If the celebrities have fame and wealth, they cannot enjoy them. They have to take a little drug to change their behavior. The moons, as a result, most of them ruin their life. So, it is worthless to be famous. It is worthless to become a celebrity. There is no reason to become wealthy if one can enjoy it. If you cannot enjoy your wealth, there is no reason to have it. Because you have your wealth to enjoy life. And everyone knows life is beautiful. I will be glad to see a celebrity who work very hard make money to enjoy his life. But killing, killing himself by, doing, by taking drugs, by taking overdose of drugs, illegal drugs, that's really wrong. It seems that there is a correlation between fame and overdose of illegal drugs because a lot of famous actors, singers, politicians, died of overdose of illegal drugs. When I put the names of some celebrities on trial, I believe there is a ghost in their brain which compels them to consume illegal drugs, to act immorally, to get distressed for unviable reason. I understand that the fame is generated in the brain. It is an entrance of talent. But do not take a good drug to control that virtue. Fame is not elusive. It can be controlled. Thank you.